When training to play hockey, whether at the pro, college, junior, or youth level, the physical method of preparing players is the same from coast to coast. Lifting weights, power skating, off-ice drills, watching your diet are important elements to making your overall game better. But what about the intangible? The stuff inside your head? Hockey sense. Game awareness. The ability to read and react to ever-changing situations. Peripheral vision. The ability to anticipate a play before it develops. That stuff you can't teach. Or maybe you can. Applied Cognitive Engineering and USA Hockey have developed a way where not only is it possible, but it is working. It's called the Hockey Intelligym, a cognitive ice hockey training method that helps players think the game. The methodology was originally developed for use with Air Force fighter pilots, where quick thinking means either life or death. It was later modified for use in the game of basketball and is now looking to improve the mental side of hockey. Strangely enough, flying a jet was found to be similar to playing hoops or hockey. Quick decision making under pressure, anticipation, execution, teamwork, and spatial orientation are all skills that these activities have in common. 17 Division I colleges have implemented the Basketball Intelligym in their training programs, including the back-to-back -back national champion University of Florida Gators. This season, USA Hockey's National Team Development Program has incorporated the Hockey Intelligym into its multifaceted training program. Incorporating this out-of-the-box program quickly became a key part of the team's weekly training regimen. So USA Hockey is not afraid to think outside the box a little bit. So obviously when they came to us with this program, Intelligym, and said we would like you to try this, we think there's some value to it, how do you say no to that? And that's what this program is all about. We want to be the best at what we do. And this program allows us to stay ahead of the curve and be the best that we can be in every little way. The, the key to the Intelligym is for the player to embrace the game. You know. After that, it becomes fun. The game of hockey is extremely fast. To be successful, players need to conquer the physical demands of the game, as well as the all-important and elusive skill of hockey sense. Hockey sense is to be able to process the game at a high level quickly. Know what's coming at you at any time, who's on the ice, where the next guy is, where the puck's going to go, where you should be, who's the most dangerous guy on the ice, how can I violate the opponent, all those different kinds of things. It's easier kind of to think of the greatest players who ever played. I mean, certainly you think of what makes Gretzky so good, it's his hockey sense. No one ever says he had this, the best shot or, or is the fastest skater, it's his hockey sense. You look at Sidney Crosby, he doesn't have the hardest shot, um, but he certainly can see the play developing in front of him probably better than anybody else in the NHL. For years, coaches have struggled with finding an affordable and convenient way to develop hockey sense. Up to this point, up to this year, it was always video was the one area away from the ice that we had to work with our minds and try to see our, let our guys see how we can get better individually, how we can get better as a team. And video can be very negative because you're trying to correct the negatives. USA Hockey and Applied Cognitive Engineering have come up with a new and positive method to help coaches develop the way players think on the ice. I just think the mind is the most powerful tool that we have. And I even talk about it as a skill. You know, like we can develop our mind just like we can develop our skating and just like we can develop our passing and our shooting and everything else. It's a powerful tool. And that's what this program allows us to do. And it's just amazing to me um, how they have put the program together specifically to develop the mind and the cognitive skills that overlap the game and the game of ice hockey. As with any new product, the learning curve was steep. But over time, players began to embrace the process as they saw the time and effort they put into working with the Intelligym translate into on-ice success. It was new and change isn't easy and it's different and if you want to go anywhere in life you got to be put yourself in an uncomfortable environment and situation and if you're able to handle that and adjust to it I think it helps you no matter what you go through. Not only did the players notice a difference, the coaches saw a marked improvement in how their players responded under pressure in game situations. They just started to make plays under pressure 
that I hadn't necessarily seen prior to them using the game. The national team development program enjoyed tremendous success this season, earning gold medals at the International Ice Hockey Federation Under-18 World Championship and the Four Nations Cup. How much of that piece do we give them for that gold medal? I don't really know, but certainly it was all part of the, it was all part of us. You know, it was part of us, absolutely. Now looking back, if you asked them, you know, would you do it all day? They would say, yeah, absolutely, it was worth it. If that had anything to do with us winning that gold medal, absolutely, twice a week was not too much to ask. Will the Intelligym become as much a part of development as lifting weights, dryland training, and power skating? Only time will tell. I believe it's a quality product. I believe that there's a place in hockey for the Intelligym. I think over time we're going to see more and more teams use the product that we were the pioneers to develop.